Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to be talking through the clubs in the bag of 15 time major champion Tiger Woods who as we know returned to competitive action this year at the Masters and also played in the PGA and made the cut in both of those events and he has made some changes to the clubs in his bag which we're going to touch on in this video. So without further ado let's dive into the clubs in the bag of Tiger Woods starting with the driver. So the driver in the golf bag of Tiger Woods for the 2022 season is the TaylorMade Stealth Plus. As we know, Tiger is a TaylorMade staff player, so pretty much all the clubs in Tiger's bag. And the Stealth Plus has the adjustable weight in the sole, so a 10 gram movable weight. And interestingly, Tiger has that weight slightly in the heel, so that's either to promote a little bit more of a draw or to align the more weight behind a slight heel strike, if that's his tendency. He has a nine degree head set down to 8.25 degrees, so it's gonna give him a slightly lower flight. And also open the face slightly, depending on that's kind of what he wants to look down on behind the ball. And the interesting thing about Tiger's driver performance is that I've noticed, looking at his ball speed numbers, that they're very competitive. So he's above average in terms of tour average for ball speed. So despite his long injury layoff, He's managed to come back to competitive action this year without losing any speed. He's definitely bombing it well over 300 yards on most holes. And while it does favor a cut, most of the time he can get out there with a draw like the rest of them. So that's the driver in the bag of Tiger Woods. It's a tailor-made Stealth Plus. It's the same driver that I'm using. So clearly, you know, I'm onto a winner here. Right, so moving into the fairway woods in the bag of Tiger Woods and Tiger has a tailor-made Sim TI three wood. So this is a couple of generations old actually versus the stealth range. He's got it set to 13 and a half degrees. So it's quite strong in terms of a three wood loft, but we know the TI model is relatively high launching. So he's not going to be sacrificing all that much in terms of ball flight by lofting down. Uh, so Taylor Ray Sim TI, that's what he's got in the three wood. And then Tiger has for a long while carried a five wood. So a 19 degree Taylor made M3 five wood, which is in the bag for a very long time. But Recently at the PGA Championship, he did replace the five wood for a two iron. Now we're not sure if that's gonna be a permanent switch or if that was a very temporary switch for the course at Southern Hills, um, but he did switch out that five wood for a two iron and actually he added a two and a three iron in a completely new model that Tiger hasn't used before. So Tiger with his irons, he went from three iron all the way down to pitching wedge with the P7TW, which is a set of irons the kind of bespoke for him, very much designed for the ball flight window that he liked to see when he looked up and hit a shot. That's what those irons offered him. They offered him the right turf interaction, the right feel, the right level of forgiveness. But in the PGA Championship, he switched out the three iron, added in a tailor-made P773 iron and a P772 iron. So two new models in his bag, essentially offering him a little bit more launch and a little bit more speed in those long iron clubs. So it's a really curious addition. We know the P770 is a hollow construction, so it's constructed a lot differently to the kind of blade style design of the rest of his irons. It was giving him around about eight to 10 more yards in like for like loft versus his P70W. So clearly giving a little bit more forgiveness, more speed, more launch, just a little bit more playability on those long iron shots. It's something that he wanted to experience. It's something he requested from Tame reps and they've delivered it with those two to three irons. So he has P770 in the two and three iron, then he moves from P7TW in the four iron all the way down to pitching wedge. Interesting fact for you, is actually Tommy Fleetwood that was the first player to use a set of the P7TW irons. He managed to get hold of them before Tiger. And another interesting fact for you, there are six other tailor-made staffers that use the P7TW. So even though they're designed specifically for Tiger Woods, a lot of other tailor-made staffers have really enjoyed what they have to offer in terms of performance. Right, so we move from the irons into the wedges in Tiger's bag, and Tiger has actually made a couple of changes to the wedges in his golf bag. We saw at the PGA, you know, he's used tailor-made MG2 wedges for a while, but he recently switched into the MG3, which is the new wedge version from tailor-made in the 56 and 60 degree. And we know that Tiger has a very specific grind on his wedges, which we, we saw was brought out into retail last year with the MTG2, that carries into the MG3 wedge as well. So yeah, I've got the Tiger Woods grind here in the old MG2 wedge, and it's a really curious shape actually on the sole. So in this 56 degree, which is similar to what he uses, it's kind of got almost like a dual sole to it. There's a very a shaved edge at the front. There's a lot of heel relief on this 56 and also in the 60. So 
That allows Tiger to open the face up quite significantly without the leading edge riding up too much. But this shave section at the front allows Tiger to play kind of more straight face shots with the ball slightly back in his stance. It means he's going to be able to get the turf interaction that he wants. So this very bespoke shape gives him the versatility around the greens that he needs to pull off all the different shots that we know Tiger Woods is famous for whether that's open face shots, uh, straight face shots, etc. This gives him the right amount of playability in different situations around the green. So it's a, it's a grind that you can get uh, in the shops. So only two lofts in the bag uh, for Tiger Woods with his wedges in the MG3, it's the 56 degree and the 63 in that bespoke TW grind. So moving on to the putter, as I'm sure you're aware, Tiger hasn't changed his putter for a while. It's the putter he used to win the majority of his major championships with. It's the Scotty Cameron, a GSS Newport 2. It's a very classic, traditional kind of answer style shape to it. It's got the single dot on top for his kind of alignment, and it's got a really cool wear mark on the face because of how long he's used it over, over the years. So um, very traditional shape, gives him the feel he wants. It's also got a blacked out ping PP58 grip on it. So it's a very traditional compact pistol grip that he's used for an awfully long time. Um, not an awful lot to talk about in terms of technology. It's a really classic uh, putter that you know, is worth an awful lot of money. We know that Tiger, uh, his, his backup Scotty Cameron putter sold uh, an auction recently for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, so this one is probably worth even more than that, uh, but I don't think he's going to be parting with it anytime soon. So last but by no means least is the golf ball in Tiger's bag and he uses the Bridgestone Tour B XS. Uh, he's been with Bridgestone for a number of years as kind of one of their staff players and this is actually a new golf ball for 2022 that Tiger had quite an involved role in terms of developing the technology and the, the resulting performance that he got from it. So he wanted to experience a little bit more speed but also a little bit more feel around the greens and Bridgestone have made some changes to the technology on the golf ball that really delivers that. So Tiger having a bit more hands-on involvement in the R&D of this golf ball has translated into a new product that he's really happy with. It's obviously available at retail as well, both in the standard version and the Tiger version that he plays, which has his stamping on the side and the special play number of number one. Uh, you can get it for just under $50 a dozen. It's definitely one of the better premium golf balls out there and Tiger's obviously using it to great effect out on the golf course. So that concludes our look at the clubs and ball in the bag of Tiger Woods for 2022. Interesting to see some of the changes that he's made. Uh, I think some of it's through technology and the added performance he's getting from that. And maybe some of it is down to managing the result of his injuries that he's had, especially in those long irons, looking for something that's a little bit more playable. So it's really interesting to see how his bag has evolved down the years and where he is right now. Obviously, it's great to see him making the cut in both of the first two majors of the year, but it'd be good to see him playing a bit more with the clubs that we've talked about in this bag throughout the rest of the season. Hopefully, we will see that for the rest of the year. But that's all for me. For Birdie Park Golf Club, I'll see you next time.